you guys welcome back okay so it has been a hot minute since I have done a shop my stash and it's time it is time <laughs> I've needed to do this for a couple of weeks because my shop my stashes have really been running into like a month long and although I do pick plenty of items to use and play with you know I do kind of get sick of them after a while so it is time I have here all of the items that I have been using from my last shop. My stash is quite a few. So I want to run through these really quickly, just show you what I've been using, let you know my thoughts. If I have any, then we can move on and pick some new stuff to play with because I'm really anxious to just mix it up a bit and try some new items that I have in my collection. So like usual, let's go ahead and start off with my like prep and prime items and just run through these. So this first one here is this Milani Rose Prep and Brighten Face Oil. I did pick this to try out because I love, love, love the Elemis Rose Oil that I get from the Boxy pop-up. And you know, it's quite expensive. So if it's never available anymore, it will be something expensive to buy. So I wanted to try this one out, of course, with it being Milani, it's less expensive. And quite honestly, I feel like it's definitely a comparable rose face oil to use. I don't need to worry about the Elemis because to me, they work just the same. Very, very nice. I like this. It smells nice and it absorbed into my skin very easily. So as you can see, I don't use a lot when I do use the face oils. I only use it on certain spots on my face and I really, really like it. So I'm glad I tried this because this is just perfectly fine. Next, I pulled the Farsali Quench. This is the Moisture Replenishing Serum. I've used this several times in the past. I love this stuff. I actually have a backup of it because I love it so much. This stuff is a really, really nice hydrating serum. Feels great. It absorbs into my skin nicely and I really like it. I love it. Now, I've been using this Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. My girl Lily sent this to me. I love this stuff, you guys. I do. I love it, love it, love it. As you can see, I've made quite a nice little dent in here using this. You do not need to use a lot. Quite often I use too much just because, you know, I kind of go in. But this stuff is so moisturizing. It smells good. It feels good. So yeah, if you were curious about this one, I know it might be on the more pricier side, but I love this stuff and I would definitely buy it again. For priming, I did choose this iHeart Revolution Strawberry Whip. I was really curious about this. It's a pore, pore blurring primer with vitamin C and E. I fell in love with this stuff, you guys. You want to talk about giving your face just a smooth out, blurred out filter effect before you even put your foundation on. This stuff is great. I was really surprised with it being Revolution, you know, less expensive, drugstore type brand. This stuff is really nice and I love it. <laughs> Once I finish this, I'm pretty sure I will buy another one because I like it so much. Also, I chose my Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. Hadn't used this in quite a while, so I wanted to just kind of break it out and dust it off, you know, and check it out. As you can see, I have a pretty nice amount of pan in this primer because I do like it. Another very nice smoothing, silkening. It's... I feel like when I use this, I have a really nice protective barrier between my skin and the makeup that I'm piling on top of it. I don't know. It just feels really good as a nice smoothing primer and barrier for my skin. Now for sprays, I did choose this Pure Miracle Mist. This is just a hydrating spray. I always, always rehydrate my face. Like after I powder, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really pretty. But after I powder, um, you know, put on my powder, my blush, my bronzer, all that stuff, you know, my face can kind of feel a little bit dry and just dusty. <laughs> so I like to go in with this pure or any type of hydrating spray and just kind of rehydrate my face and let my makeup just kind of settle in. This works really nicely for that. It has a nice soft scent and it's just a really good hydrating spray. Now, I did choose this Farsali. This is the Rose Gold Skin Mist. It has like these little pretty gold flecks in here. I don't know if you can see those moving around in there. 
there you could probably see it better there um this is uh supposed to be a three in one because it does say hydrate prime and set so i did try this as a hydrating spray as well as to set my makeup and quite honestly i feel like it is just a nice hydrating spray it does act more like a setting spray than other hydrators you know for sure i did feel a difference but it's not like a supreme setting spray. I, say, I would say it's more of a hydrating mist. It's really pretty, but I don't like the way this stuff smells. I don't know if mine went bad because mine kind of has a faint smell of like vinegar. So I'm thinking mine might be a bit off, might have gone bad. I haven't had it that long. I got this from the Boxy Pop-Up, you know. But let me know if you guys have this, what yours smells like. If it has a hint of vinegar or it smells a little off or if it smell, if it doesn't smell like anything or it smells pleasant because then, you know, I'll know for sure, okay, this has gone off. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to put this to the side. Might actually declutter it because I don't like spraying things on my face that smell like vinegar. <laughs> okay, it's pretty, but it stinks. Okay, so let me just move into some of these other items here. Let's take a look at these foundations that I chose. Okay, so let's talk about this Huda Stick Foundation. Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. Um, I've come to realize, you guys, I just don't like stick foundations. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this foundation. Really nice finish. Um, the color match was perfect for me. This one is Coco. What is it? 510R, it looks like, Coco. And I really do love my Huda Beauty um, liquid foundations, but this stick foundation, I just honestly feel like I don't like stick foundations because the finish was nice. It looked nice on my skin, but with stick foundations, I, I find that I can feel them. I can feel them on my skin too much. Even this, I can use the smallest amount and blend it out and I can still feel it. And I don't like that feeling, you know, on my face. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still going to use this because it is a nice foundation, of course. And I, I need to use it up because I paid for it. But I, this will probably be the last stick foundation that I ever buy. Because every time I buy them and I try them, I don't like the way they feel. So, nice foundation, just not for me. Now, I did try out this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This stuff is nice it really surprised me it says it's color correcting full coverage natural finish um it has collagen peptides niacinamide broad spectrum spf 30 so you're getting a lot of stuff in this cc cream and i've never really used the cc cream i don't think but i really like this i think the color correcting aspect combined with the full coverage foundation portion of this I like it. I really do. This stuff is really good. If you like full coverage, it's great. If you like minimal coverage, you can just use a very, very small amount and get a nice amount of coverage. I think if you can find your shade in this, it's definitely worth a try. I like it a lot. Last foundation that I tried is this L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. Now, I know people were going crazy over this stuff when it first came out, and I just kind of, you know didn't try it. It was like, eh, I don't know. I should have tried this a long time ago because this stuff is perfect for me. When I tell you the finish, the wear, the color, everything is just is perfect for me. I love this foundation. I found another great drugstore foundation to use. I love it. What color do I have, you guys? 515, whatever that is. But yeah, I really like this stuff. I'm so glad I tried it and I will definitely be pulling this in the future. Now for concealers, um, I have, <laughs> this is not supposed to be in here. I have my Juvia's because I always keep this on deck. This quite honestly is my favorite concealer. I know some people don't care for it. It doesn't work out for them, but it works out perfectly for me. I use shade 11. It always comes through clutch. If I use a concealer and I don't really care for it, if I go in with this, I'm happy. You know, I never have any issues using this concealer. You can use a lot. You can use a little. I love it. So, yeah, this is my favorite, but it wasn't supposed to be in here because I didn't pull it. <laughs> it just is always with my makeup. The concealers that I did pull was this Kaja. 
I believe I got this in the boxy charm or boxy pop up or something. And this is actually a decent concealer. It doesn't have the most coverage, but it has enough coverage. Like me, I have serious dark circles, so I'm always looking for that maximum coverage and everything. But I think if you don't have any serious, you know, coverage issues and you're just looking for a nice concealer, this is pretty good. I was really pleasantly surprised. It's called the Don't Settle from Kaja. What shade do I have? I don't know, honey. Yeah, I don't know. I can't read that right now. But yeah, this is a decent conceal. I have no complaints about it. I also pulled this LA Girl Pro Conceal just, you know, because I wanted to try it out again. I haven't used this OG in years. And I decided to go ahead and just check it out, see if I still liked it. And I do. I really do. It's a great concealer, very affordable. So yeah, I have no issues with this. Okay, so let's jump into the powders that I used. I pulled this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. This is actually a powder foundation. I have the shade Sienna 355, but you know, a lot of times I'll use a powder foundation to set my face because I always use a liquid. This stuff is really, really nice. It is a really, really nice powder foundation if you like using you know just powder foundations it's really nice but it also works really well as a setting powder it just gives you that extra you know set nice amount of coverage i like this a lot i also pulled this smash box this one is what is this stuff called the photo finish fresh setting powder in the shade 02 i did get this in my boxy charm i believe and the concept is really cool because you know when you twist this it shapes off powder and you get like a fresh freshly shaped powder every time that you use it but I don't know the first couple of times I used it I was like okay I need to figure out what's the best way for me to use it because it was a little bit thick I could never get like a nice smooth even set under my eyes and it was just like a little bit frustrating i realized after using this several times that it's just a little bit thicker than i like a little bit it's not finely milled enough and it probably is because you know of this little shaver here it just doesn't shave it as nicely as when you buy a finely milled powder so it's just a little bit too thick for my liking. I wouldn't say it's a bad powder, but it's just not my favorite. And I would probably be hard pressed to pull this again. I might actually declutter it. So let's talk about these highlighters that I chose. <laughs> this first one here, oh my gosh, let me clean it off. This Pat McGrath, oh, yo, gorgeous. This was a gift from one of my besties here on YouTube. Honey, look at this. This highlighter is gorgeous. And not only is it gorgeous in the pan, it is gorgeous on the skin. Now, the finish of this highlighter, just nice, has that natural lit from within finish. But it's a little bit icier than I like to use. You know, my preference as far as on my skin tone, but it is gorgeous. I mean, you see that? It is it is gorgeous, okay? Um, but, you know, it's a beautiful, I would say more like a universal type highlighter, you know, that everybody can use. Lighter skins, darker skins. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's just Pat McGrath, okay? So it better be. But yeah, this is a very, very nice highlighter. Just a little bit lighter than I tend to gravitate to. But it's beautiful. You see that? It's gorgeous. Next, I have here the ABH. This one is the Iced Out Highlighter that they just came out with recently. I saw too many people getting this highlighter and just, <laughs> they just made me want it because it's something about the fact that it looks white, you know, but when you apply it, it has like this golden hue to it that is just so gorgeous. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you as well. So you can see there. It has that golden hue. It's like, what? And it just looks beautiful on the skin. You see that? Yeah, it, it's gorgeous. It really is. It's beautiful. But yeah, it, it does. It has like this golden kind of hue to it. And I love that about this. Very, very nice. And lastly, I chose this NK, Nika K Perfection Highlighter. 
This one is in sandstone. Very, very affordable. Nika K, you can find it in like beauty supplies, <clears throat> some drugstores, I think, and online on their website. And this highlight, beautiful. More my speed, shade wise, you know, because it has that beautiful kind of like bronzy, bronzy gold tone to it, which, you know, is beautiful for darker skin tones. So you can see it just kind of melts into my skin, has that more bronzy look to it. It's beautiful. But all three of these highlighters were gorgeous and I really enjoyed using them. Very, very nice. Okay, so now let's talk about the blushes that I chose. I did choose quite a few blushes and I also have like some <laughs> face palettes that have blushes and stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. I chose the um, ABH Glow Kit as well, which, oh my gosh, these highlighters, are you kidding me? These highlighters are beautiful. <laughs> like all of them are gorgeous. I really, really enjoyed using this palette. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm not even going to swatch it but they're gorgeous. Just take my word for it. They're beautiful. Okay, so for blushes, I did choose this ColourPop Drop of a Hat. This is more of kind of like, it's one of their Super Shock Cheeks, so it is pearlized. You know, it has a little bit of sheen to it. It's beautiful. You can use it as like a blush topper or even like a highlighter. It's really, really pretty. I think for me, you know, I just put it on my cheeks and <laughs> it gives me a glow along with color. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed using this. Love it a lot. Okay, you guys, I had to adjust a little bit because the sun outside was getting a little crazy, but let's continue on with the blushes. So this XX Revolution blush, this one is called Crank. <laughs> you guys, if it is possible for a blush to be too pigmented, this is it right here. Okay. I absolutely love, love, love this blush. I mean, the color is beautiful, but this blush is so freaking pigmented. You really, really have to take it easy with this blush. Barely tap, just go in soft. I mean, I <laughs> went had to go in back and forth a few times using this blush because it's so crazy pigmented, you know, just kind of like, toning it down yeah so this blush is amazing the color is amazing but it's extremely pigmented so you have to be careful when using this now this next little duo compact situation from ofra this is the squad blush and bronzer duo compact i did pick this up because i just couldn't resist it was so gorgeous so pretty and nicely pigmented i think this is a really really nice compact it really is the bronzer works out really nicely for my skin tone the blush is a really pretty kind of like corally shade so that's gorgeous as well i really enjoyed this compact very very nice now this hank and henry blush this is a less than lush Opulent Highlight and Desire Blush. I got this, I think, from the Boxy Pop-Up. Wanted to try it out because it looks so gorgeous, of course, in the pictures, as it does here. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. Um, it's not a bad blush and highlight duo. The highlight is absolutely gorgeous. The blush, while it looks very, very pigmented, I did have to build it up. Quite a bit, which I was a little surprised by. I think maybe after using the XX Revolution blush, I was kind of surprised because they're kind of like around the same color, same tone. But yeah, I had to build this blush up a little bit more than I thought I would. Still a nice duo, but yeah, the blush is not as pigmented as I thought it was. Now this here <laughs> from Revolution, this is their Vintage Lace Blush quad or whatever you want to call it you know intense dual pigment blusher oh, you guys this is one of my absolute favorite blush palettes blush quad whatever you want to call it it is one of my favorites i love this thing <laughs> okay i love it if you don't like you know kind of like a little shimmery pearlized blush then you won't like this i absolutely love it i had so much 
fun using this. I enjoyed it. Every time I used it, I was just smiling from cheek to cheek. <laughs> no pun intended. I love this. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now this here, I've used several times before. As you can see, it's a little dirty. It's my cover effects. Kind of like face palette. You got your highlight, your blush, your bronzer, contour, all that good stuff in here. Got this a while back from my BoxyCharm. And <laughs> yes, yeah, a little beat up, little worse for wear. I love this face palette because it is perfect for me. I can use every single item in here. Everything, the contour, the blush, the highlighters. It's just beautiful. It's bomb. It works out nicely. I love this little face palette. I did choose my Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I'm making a nice little dent in here. I haven't hit pan yet, but yeah, I'm making a nice little dent in here. It's just the perfect color bronzer for me. I use the shade Phenom. Yeah, easy go-to bronzer. I also pulled this Morphe Face Palette. Funny enough, this one is the 8 Deep. So it's the Deep Glam. But funny enough, I did not use this that much. I think I might have used it once. I don't know. I, I couldn't even tell you why. Yeah, I probably used it once, maybe twice, quite honestly. The bronzers contour, really nice. A blush. Um, it has the beautiful kind of like, you know, shiny, glowy type blushes in here that I like now. And also some beautiful matte blushes. It's a really nice face palette. I don't know why I didn't gravitate to it, but I didn't. Nothing wrong with it, though. Now for mascara, I have been using this Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I've been using this for, I think, my previous shot my stash as well. I don't know. I've been using it for a while. I really like this mascara. I've been wearing falsies lately, so I can't really speak for the upper lashes all that much. But for my lower lashes, it really shows up and, you know, makes them a little bit longer, a little bit fuller. So... I do. I really like this mascara. I would definitely say it is one um, that is nice to try if you're thinking about trying it out. This is what the wand looks like. It's one of those kind of like what silicone or plasticky applicators. Small spiky type bristles or whatever. But yeah, I like it a lot. Um, so yeah. I might go ahead and continue to use this just to finish it up instead of, you know, using another mascara, but I like it. I did pull this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer to use. I've used it before. It is a nice primer, you know, to prime your lids. It um, didn't take the place of my favorite P. Louise base, but yeah, it is a nice primer. I have no complaints about this. It works very well, just as well. As a P. Louise base, it's just a little bit, I feel like this primer, um, it kind of, I don't know, I think it stays a little bit wet, a little bit tacky, more so than a P. Louise base. I think because of the way that I use the P. Louise base and I kind of, you know, blend it out with my brush, it dries down a little bit more so than this Fenty Beauty one does, but... I like it. I think it works nice as an eyeshadow base as well. No complaints, but it's a little bit more, you know, like wet. A little bit. It stays a little bit more wet and tacky, I think, than when I use my P. Louise base. And then lastly for my face, I did go ahead and keep this Cover Fix Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I am trying to just finish up this little sample when I'm almost done. This stuff I really, really love. It leaves a nice natural finish it doesn't look wet or shiny when i use this it just gives me a nice healthy glow of a finish and i really really like it i'm pretty sure i will buy a full size of this one day so one of the palettes that i did go ahead and use during this shot my stash was this viseart neutral mattes palette one i got from either no you know what i got this in my actual boxy charm box so i did go ahead and pull this so i can use some of these shades for crease work very very nice palette just for you know crease work everyday looks it's all matte so very very nice now one of the looks that i did create using this for crease work i also incorporated some of 
my loose pigments from Sample Beauty. So yeah, I got these off of Beauty Bay and I used some really bright colors with the neutral crease using that palette. So as you can see here, I have this gorgeous blue shade. I also used this bright yellow. <laughs> I went in with uh, this kind of like purple shade and also I chose this orange, very bright, beautiful orange to use as well. And I had a lot of fun using this palette along <laughs> with these loose pigments. I like using loose pigments. I think they're fun. I also have here one of the cream eyeshadows that I got from Amazon. I got this whole big old kit, a whole big old set, and I wanted to try these out. These things are extremely pigmented. <laughs> very, very fun to use. I didn't have any issues. You have to use just the smallest, smallest amount of these cream shadows. I mean, you do not have to use a lot. But I paired this green or kind of like teal turquoise type green along with this Cara Beauty Fantasist palette. <laughs> so I didn't use a lot of shades from this palette. This is a gorgeous palette, as you can see here. I will put the look that I did up in the corner. But yeah, so I just used this palette along with that cream shadow to create a look. And it was very enjoyable. This palette is nicely pigmented. So yeah, I look forward to playing with this, using it for some different looks, but very, very nice. I also used this Jungle Lights palette. Ugh guys look at this let me open it up so you can see these shimmers are just so so pretty i mean they are absolutely gorgeous let me just swatch a few i don't know if i swatched it in my video when i pulled this palette but do you see that i really like the fact that this is a drugstore palette from flower beauty because the shimmers remind me of like indie brand shimmers. It's just like, okay, okay. So these other brand drugstore brands can get down with some real decent shimmers. Gorgeous. But yeah, I just, I really, really love this little shimmer palette. It is bomb. It is so bomb. Do you see that? Yeah, this little Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. If you have a chance to grab it, I would say grab it because it is so bomb. Now, I did pair this palette along with a couple of other palettes. You know, just having some fun to create a look. I did use this Juvia's Vanessa's, <laughs> Vanessa's, Vanessa palette to create a look using the Jungle Lights. Gorgeous. This palette is really pretty. I also paired it with the Sweet Shop Orange Sorbet. These colors in here, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if you like orange, you know how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, I created a look on Instagram using these shadows all together. But alone, they're absolutely amazing as well. I also played around with this 5050 Makeup uh, Summer Palette. Okay. Uh, this palette, you want to talk about color, vibrancy. <laughs> you know, this palette is really, really nice. I was very surprised at the pigmentation for this palette. It is bomb. I love this cute little color story. I really had a lot of fun using it. So very pretty palette from 5050 Makeup. This is the summer palette. I also had fun playing with my Alien Cosmetics. This is the Serendipity palette. So glad I went ahead and bit the bullet and grabbed this. The background always kind of throws off the lighting for the camera, but hopefully you can still see how beautiful these shades are in here. Did a quick, quick little look using this for Instagram as well. Very, very nice. Nicely pigmented. The shimmers in here are just really gorgeous. I also played around with my LA Girl Main Stage palette. This one is Desert Dream. And let's see here. Yeah, it says Backstage. 
they always have like five million names on this palette so you these palettes so you can't figure out what the actual name is but this one says backstage this is what this one looks like look at that you guys gorge so yeah i'll go ahead and incorporate the eye look that i did using this love 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 these palettes love using this nicely pigmented shimmers gorge now this makeup obsessions after dark palette i really had a lot of fun using this because i did use this when i was trying to come up with different alternative palettes or dupe palettes for the new urban decay wild west palette well it's not necessarily new anymore <laughs> which is funny because after a palette comes out like within a week it's not considered new anymore it's so hilarious but yeah this was a palette that i used to create a look kind of duping the vibes of that palette and i absolutely love it i i'm pleasantly surprised with the makeup obsessions formula because you know it's a drugstore brand more affordable you get a nice amount of shades they have several different palettes and this one worked out very nicely for me and then the last palette that I played around with was this BH Cosmetics Lunar New Year. I love the way this palette looks because it actually looks like it's lit up, you know, very, very cool. I do like that. And then this is what she looks like. <sighs> Y'all, look at this palette. Even if you don't like glitters, you have to admit that they look bomb in this color story okay they really do so yeah so i created a look had some fun using this palette and yeah very enjoyable i don't really have any complaints using this palette as well it was nicely pigmented so enjoyed that so now you guys i'm just gonna go ahead and put these items away so that we can go ahead and shop for <laughs> some new makeup some new palettes, some new stuff to play with, okay? Okay, so let's go shop. Okay, you guys, so before I start shopping like through my regular makeup <laughs> collection, I do have some items over here, some new ones, some not so new ones, but ones that I wanted to kind of pull out just to make sure that I try them because I really am excited to try some of this stuff. So let me just show you some of the stuff that I have over here that I just got <laughs> not too long ago and want to try out. So this first one here is this Milani Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. This looks gorgeous, <laughs> okay? Looks absolutely gorgeous. I needed a new lip scrub um, to use so i went ahead and picked this up to try out so i'm going to be using this i also picked up a new face powder well new to me i should say this is the covergirl clean fresh beautiful pink packaging and this one is in the shade 200 rich let me open this up and so this is what this face powder looks like looks very promising so i do want to pull this I also got this in my boxy charm, I believe. This is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I've never tried this one before, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't think I have this. This one has coconut water, so it sounds like a nice kind of like hydrating primer. So I want to try this out. I also picked up this Revlon Rose Glow Mist. <laughs> this is starting to turn into like a... a a small haul video <laughs> but I picked this up and if you watch Andrea Renee that girl has me buying and trying out stuff like every week okay she just shows some of the nicest stuff and she has never steered me wrong ever anything that she has suggested and I tried I've liked so I went ahead and grabbed this as you can see it has like that kind of like oil in there for the glow mist but yeah, I want to try this out and see how it works for, you know, giving me that nice, hydrated, dewy type look. Now, as you see here, my girl DJ, her boutique, DJ's Unique Boutique, she did come out with some lip glosses as well as some Balm Multi Duochrome 
um, shimmer eyeshadows that I plan on showing a little bit later because I will be using those as well. But these are her new lip glosses. Aren't they so cute, you guys? These things are gorgeous, okay? Currently, I would say the rosy gold, the purple unicorn, hell, all of them, brown sugar. <laughs> this one is Caribbean Waters. She came out with some shades like to match some of her beautiful new single shadows, but the rosy gold, one of my absolute favorites. This one, the purple unicorn as well. So yeah, I'm going to be playing with these throughout the month. So yeah, definitely for sure. I'm gonna leave these up here because they're gorgeous and I want them to be on display. <laughs> yeah, a little display piece in here. Those are gorgeous. Okay, I also have these. This here is a primer. And it's called Soft Focus Glow Drops from Rodial or Rodeo. Got this in BoxyCharm as well. I do want to try these because I think this will give my skin a nice dewy glow underneath my foundation. So, and it's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? So, I'm going to try this out as a primer along with the... Too Faced Hangover Primer. Now, I put this up here because, who did I see using this? Was it Tammy? I think I saw Tammy, uh, Makeup by Tammy, using this Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I really wanna try this out. That's basically how I put on my lashes. I put the glue on my lash line as though it was a liner and then let it get sticky and then I attach my liners, <laughs> attach my liners, and then I attach my lashes. So that's basically what I do already, but it's very difficult using the glue applicator. So I really, really wanna try this out, see how it works. I think it's gonna make my life 10 times easier with it having the little felt tip applicator. So we'll see, I'm gonna try this out. Now I do have a couple of really pretty highlighters. This one here from Becca. This was a gift from my girl DJ. This one is, what is it called? Own Your Light from Becca. Look at that packaging. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is what the highlighter looks like. It kind of has like that rosy gold type feel to it. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm going to pull this to use. Now this Zoeva highlighter super shiny sorry to blind you guys but let me open her up okay now look at that look at this highlighter oh my goodness isn't she pretty she's gorgeous let me see what the name is on this this is called surreal so it's called surreal from zoeva i feel like it's gonna have like a little bit of a glitteriness to it let me swatch it i hate to even mess it Ooh. Oh, y'all see that? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me stick my other hand in here. <laughs> okay. That is beautiful. And it doesn't look like it's going to be too glittery. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and pull that. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. That is pretty. Now for blush, um, I have this Patrick Tall blush, which is really, really pretty. Not sure if I'm going to pull that though. I know I want to play with this Miss Piggy Ciate London blush quad. I had seen this on sale <laughs> at Sephora for the longest. And then lo and behold, trying to open it, it popped up in the boxy pop-up. <laughs> so went ahead and grabbed it because I had been looking like, oh, I want to try it. I want to try it. But, you know, once it's in the boxy pop-up, it's like, okay, you got to get it. <laughs> so, yeah, very pretty. I think nice corally springtime shades. So, we'll see what happens with this. I also have over here this really cute little Jouet, Jouet Duo. I'm not sure if I want to pull this or not. What is this? Cherish Me and Treasure Me. So this is what this one looks like. This one is actually quite gorgeous as well. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm, not sure. I have here this Ace Beauté. Beautiful um, 
blush quad, I believe. Blushed in Paradise is so pretty. Look at that. So it kind of has like those burgundy type, you know, red tone blush shades. Gorgeous. I think I'm going to pull this one as well to go along with the Miss Piggy just to give me a little bit of variety. And I think that actually will be enough for blush. I don't want to pull too much, you guys. This here is from Vanity Makeup. I know I got this in the boxy pop-up. I thought it was pretty, pretty beautiful. So it's like a cream face palette with like the contour, you know, the defining shade, and then a beautiful cream highlight. So yeah, I think I'm going to pull this as well to play with from Vanity Makeup. What is this called? Sculpt and Glow Palette. This one is dark. The Dark Trio. So yeah, this looks very promising to me. So I am going to go ahead and pull, if you can see that, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. So I think that's all I'm going to pull from over here, you guys. Let's go ahead and go to my main makeup collection and kind of fill in the gaps. Okay, you guys. So over here, you guys know I keep like all of my primers um setting sprays moisturizers and serums and stuff like that i'm not going to choose another primer just because i have the Too faced already and i also have the glowy primer but i do want to um choose a serum to use now this one here from clean skin it says clean skin club vitamin c brightening booster watermelon green tea and pineapple that sounds delicious and i have been kind of wanting to use something to kind of help brighten you know just different dark areas and dark marks on my skin so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this this go around i also want to choose oh it's kind of tough because i really wanted to use this mark jacobs primer <laughs> I don't want to pick too many things though, you guys, because then that, that makes my shop my stash that much longer. So I am going to choose, let's see, I have the Hydrating Mist from Revlon. I want to try out this ColourPop No Filter um, Setting Mist. Now, as you can see, it has, well, it's kind of bright, but it has like that sediment at the bottom. So you really have to shake this up really, really good. This is one that I believe is supposed to mattify, you know, and that's why it has that, whatever it is, that sediment in there to help to mattify your face. So I don't know if I'm going to see it's, it's getting mixed up. You can see, I don't know if I'm really going to like this, but I do want to try it. I've had it for a little while, so I do want to try this out. So this is from ColourPop. No filter setting mist. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And of course, I need a moisturizer. Mm. I almost want to keep the Marc Jacobs because it's just so, so nice. <laughs> but I'm kind of tempted to try out this Glow Recipe Banana Souffle. Because I think this is going to be kind of similar to that Marc Jacobs. And I want to see if it is. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. Now, although I did already pull two highlighters, I always like to have what I consider a safe highlighter <laughs> in my repertoire just because of the fact that, you know, those two highlighters that I chose could possibly be a bit much. You know, they could be a bit much. So I do like to kind of just have one in my drawer that is a little bit safer something that I know is going to look really nice on my skin tone if I don't <laughs> see you can see that highlighter is still swatched on my hand if I don't want something so aggressive you know I like to pull something a little bit more user friendly I might pull that Milani because that one looks really pretty yeah these all might be a bit much so yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Milani haven't used this in quite a while and it is an absolute gorgeous option you know one is a little bit shinier one is a little bit more you know kind of glowy just lit from within type situation so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this this one is 140 double shot 
gorgeous. And I did pull that uh, cream face palette. So I do want to at least have a powder bronzer option, even though I already pulled the cream one. Now this is the same powder foundation that I just tried out, you know, from L'Oreal, but I got this darker shade, of course, suggested by Andrea Renee <laughs> to use as a bronzer. She was saying that this shade here, if I can open it, she was saying that this shade here, which is, you know, a darker shade, is perfect for bronzing. And I'm kind of tempted to pull this to see how it works on my skin tone. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this as well, since I know I like this formula. Now, I said I didn't wanna pull so many things, but I actually have been dying to play with this Tarte uh, face palette here. This has been out forever, but I just recently purchased it when it went on sale. This is, what is this, Clay Play? And it's not something that I would typically gravitate towards, but I really want to just pull this just to honestly use that contour or bronzer shade that's in there. And also, you know, see if maybe I want to do like a neutral eye look with it. I don't know. It's a really pretty palette nonetheless. So, and that contour shade in there looks really dark. So, yeah, I want to pull this just to kind of play with it a little bit. You know what, guys? I am a mess. I keep saying I'm not going to pull a whole bunch of stuff. But, I honestly, I really want to pull one of my Tammy palettes from, you know, the Tammy and Makeup Revolution collab palettes. Because um, I have her palette, as you'll see, you know, coming up here. I have her palette, and I want to do, you know, like a face using some of her products so hmm, i have both of them i don't know if i want to pull this one or if i want to pull this one or maybe i should just pull both <laughs> so as you can see you know one is a little bit darker mm, i'm gonna pull both just because i don't know which one i want to use so i'm gonna pull both i'm not going to pull any more blush i think i have plenty of blush but I do need a face powder to set my face. You know what? I'm going to pull this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. <laughs> Every time I pull this, I'm like, eh, what do I do with this? But people say they love this. So I am going to pull this again so I can, you know, figure it out. I also want to pull this J-Cat Aqua Assurance. As you guys can see from my collection, <laughs> I'm a very eclectic uh makeup addict i don't care if it's drugstore high end i honestly i couldn't care less if it's makeup I, I like it i want it i'm gonna try it so this one is the j cat i know that i love this powder already so i have no qualms about pulling this this one is caramel okay caramel so let me use this to set my face and then um for under my eyes Honestly, I think I'm just going to go with my DJ's Boutique Powder because I love it. It's my favorite right now and I know it works for me. <sighs> After using that Smashbox and being frustrated for a good month about how my under eyes look, I don't feel like stressing for a while. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Honey Honey Powder from DJ's Boutique because I know this is the bomb. Okay, you guys, so let's come over here and choose a foundation. I kind of separated my foundations out. <laughs> I was going back and forth with my girls like, okay, is this considered high end? Is this high end? Is this drugstore? Cause some of them are kind of like mid range um, foundations, but I actually, you know what? I have a couple of new foundations that I would like to try out. This one here, ooh, <laughs> this one here is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It looks really, really nice to me. And I want to try this out. What shade is this? Warm Spices, 092 Warm Spices. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. And then I also grabbed the latest Morphe Foundation. This one 
is Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation from Morphe. What color did I get? Filter Rich 26. So yeah, I'm going to try this foundation as well. And if I don't like them, I will just switch them out for something else. Okay, so now I need to pick a concealer. Mm. Hmm. What am I feeling like, you guys? I haven't used my e.l.f. concealers in a while, I don't think. The J.C.A.T. concealer is actually a really nice concealer. Mm, I do like my Pretty Fresh. Uh, I don't know. This is what happens when you don't really feel like thinking. <laughs> I really don't feel like thinking. What is this? Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty. Hmm. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with my e.l.f. maybe. I think I'm going to pull, yeah, the camo concealer and the hydrating concealer from e.l.f. And just play with those this go round. Yeah. We'll use those. Okay. Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and finish up that Maybelline Sky High that I already have open. So I'm not going to pull a new mascara. Um, as far as eyeshadow primer, I actually think... Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to use my P. Louise base this go around. I don't feel like choosing anything new. The Ulta... I really like this, but I think that I have my sample still in my drawer already of this if I decide to use it. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep using my P. Louise base. Not doing anything new for my brows and not pulling any new eyeliners. So, yeah, I think that's all that I need right now is my concealer. Okay, you guys, so I'm over here where I have a lot of my lipsticks, like right by my vanity. And... I like to kind of like pre-choose lipsticks for my shot mustache because it's kind of hard sometimes to, you know, <laughs> figure out what lipsticks I want to choose while I'm filming. So I did kind of just pre-pull some really pretty shades of lipsticks here that I just put in this drawer that you know I keep close to me and as you can see they're very like springtime shades various different brands that I absolutely love and so these are what I'm going to be playing with when I do my looks and just kind of you know play with makeup so I thought that would be the easiest thing for me to do as you can see <laughs> I do have various lip products over here to choose from but it kind of helps me to stay focused if I just focus on one drawer so those are the lip products I'm going to be using okay so lastly I did want to go ahead and run through some of the eyeshadows that I have chosen you know to kind of have close by me and to play with possibly <laughs> you guys know how it goes I like to use different palettes all the time so I might use them, might not, but these are ones that I really, really wanted to go ahead and pull. Now, this first palette that I have here is the Nomad Tokyo palette. I've had this for a while now, but this palette is really gorgeous, beautiful, kind of like springtime shades. So I did go ahead and pull this because I absolutely love the shimmers in this palette. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, I thought this would be a good palette to pull since it is springtime now. This palette here from Cara Beauty, I got from my girl DJ. <laughs> she sent me this and I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, look at the cover, you guys, gorgeous. My daughter saw this and she was like, mom, that is beautiful. And I was like, it is. <laughs> but this is the Cara Beauty. What is the name of this palette? Make a statement, make a statement palette. This is what it looks like. So it does have, you know, Highlighter and bronzer in here, which that bronzer is not going to work for me, but the highlighter looks gorgeous. And these shadows, honey chow, look how pretty that is. Girl, this palette is gorgeous. I love it. Love it. Love it. 
Now, I also got this Chasing Butterflies from Makeup by Tammy. This is her first release, palette release from her makeup brand. Not a collab with Revolution or anything. This is from Makeup by Tammy, her own brand. And this is her palette. Isn't it gorgeous? I love me some Tammy, okay? I just do. So it's called Chasing Butterflies. It is a pressed pigment palette which I love pressed pigments, if you guys know that about me. But this is what her palette looks like. You knew if Tammy was going to do a palette, it was going to be beautiful and colorful. So, yeah, I can't wait to dive into this. It's so, so gorgeous. These are some single shadows that I have. These are from DJ's Unique Boutique. These are her latest multi-chrome, duochrome, um, what do you call it? Metallics. Chow. These are gorgeous. I did a quick look using these on Instagram. If you're curious about how they look, you know, and perform on my eyes, my girl Lily, she did a video using these. Of course, DJ Just Peachy D is the name of her channel. Of course, she did look using her own shadows, but I definitely plan on playing with these. If you do decide that you want to purchase some of her single shadows or anything on her boutique, she has palettes, she has lip products, <laughs> she has powder, she has sponges, honey, she has brushes, she has it all, okay? Um, you can use the code Colorful Camille and get 10% off. I do have an affiliate, affiliate code with her, so you can save a little bit of money, you know, and her products are bomb, so definitely check them out but i'm going to be playing with these this month i also have these single shadows from pretties for your face um i don't think i had these when i did my video for my singles i don't remember i might have i might not these are fairly new to my collection they look absolutely gorgeous as you can see here i know there's a little bit of glare but these shadows look gorgeous okay so <laughs> i'm dying to play with these so yeah i pulled these this palette here i'm not sure if i'm going to get around to using this this is the bh cosmetics bff palette alondra and elsie i really like the color story of this palette i think the face products that they came out with were a joke as far as them being you know products for everybody i don't feel that way it almost caused me to not buy this palette because of that but i really like the color story and felt like the shadows in this palette were beautiful and i wanted it so i bought it but yeah i think like the you know face little face palettes that they came out with they know good and well they should have came out with something darker too. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, people come out with collections and they put in their collection what they want to put in there. Some of them, you know, might be for lighter. Some of them will, will be for darker. So I went ahead and grabbed the palette because I thought it was gorgeous. Just looking at it right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to use this because <laughs> it's gorgeous. I also put these two palettes. These have already been in my shop, my stash. But listen, I love me some Adept. And I just cannot get over these palettes that they came out with. And the shimmers. This is the Ninhydrin. Honey, it's like these are the type of shimmers that is always nice to have close by. <laughs> you never know what you want to do as far as an eye look goes. At least I don't. <laughs> And it's just nice to have shimmers like this close by to grab. These are so gorgeous. I do have like swatches and stuff on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. It's Colorful Camille. I do post a lot of makeup content on there, eye looks and stuff like that. This is the Plain Jane from Adept Cosmetics. So you can see these shimmers in here are gorgeous as well. They're just remarkable. I, you know, the reason why I love makeup is because of the beauty of makeup. And when I see some gorgeous makeup, it's just like, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> okay. okay, so next I have here the Rustic Glam palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I did go ahead and pull this because I haven't used this and I've had it in my collection for quite a while. I feel like there's some nice pretty spring colors in here. This some, you know, I kind of feel like it's like a random palette. It's like neutral, but you got like a blue, a purple, some kind of shimmery 
mats in there. It's just kind of weird to me. So I don't know. I see it as a challenge and I want to play with it. <laughs> I also pulled this Clarity Cosmetics Juicy Peach. Oh my gosh. This is a pressed pigment palette. Look at this palette, you guys. Definitely says Juicy Peach. I think this will be so much fun to play with. Those shimmers look gorgeous. The shades look beautiful. So yeah, can't wait to play with this. Now this, <laughs> I don't know. I just had to have this, especially when it went on sale, okay? Grab this from Beauty Bay. This is the new Romantic you know, eyeshadow palette. I believe it came out around Valentine's Day. But man, and I'm not even really like a red eyeshadow type of chick. But this palette is so gorgeous. And I've seen so many beautiful looks created with this. I like how it has that green and that purple in there with the red and corally shades. I love this color story. I think it's gorgeous. So I did pull that. And a few larger palettes. This one is new to my collection. It's the Blended palette from Blended Cosmetics. <laughs> Very colorful packaging as you can see here. And this palette... I love it. It's very colorful, but it really does say springtime to me for some reason. It's not like the super bright pastel type color story, but it is still really colorful and bright springtime shades. So, and another thing I love about this palette is it's all mattes. So I can kind of pair this palette with my singles from my DJ's Unique Boutique um release and also with the pretties for your face you know my adept cosmetics palettes so i like all matte palettes just because i'm able to pull it and then combine it with my other single shimmers so yeah can't wait to try this as usual you guys i pull way too many palettes <laughs> but i don't stress anymore if i use them i use them if i don't i don't you know your girl likes to have options so this palette is from Eye Cravens. This is the Radiant Eyeshadow Palette, another indie brand. You'll notice with my collection that I do have a lot of mainstream brands, but I kind of gear more towards indie brands. I have a lot of indie brand eyeshadow palettes in my collection, along with some higher end, you know, mid-range. I just have a lot of different palettes. But I am kind of partial to the indie brands because they're just a little something different. So this one here, I have not tried yet and I really, really need to try it. This one is another all, no, 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 it's not all matte. This one actually has some shimmers in it too, but some beautiful bold matte shades in here, which really caught my eye, okay? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Had this for a little while in my collection and haven't had the chance to use it. So I'm going to try to make a point to use this palette this go round. Next, I did pull my Makeup by Yolando Jam Rock Colored Wasishana Pastel Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> I've had this for quite a while and haven't tried it. And I figure it's springtime. It's the perfect time to pull out this beauty and try her out. I typically love Makeup in Yolando palettes, so I don't assume that I will feel any less about this one, but we'll see. <laughs> we will see. I'm going to check it out and see what I can create with this. And then lastly, I did go ahead and pull this Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette, Stacey Marie. I feel like I've pulled this before. I don't know. Maybe I've just talked about it before, but this is the latest one, I believe, and I haven't used it yet. I think with this palette, of course, I love it because it is super, super beautiful, gorgeous, colorful, um, but it really pulls a lot of purple and kind of a lot of green. So that's kind of why maybe I pull it and then I don't end up using it because I do a lot of purple looks and I do a lot of green looks. So this time I went ahead and pulled it kind of, you know, with the anticipation of doing a purple look because there's some gorgeous purple shades in here. But this palette is beautiful. So yeah, we're going to check this one out finally. Okay, you guys. So that is it for my eyeshadow palette selections. This shop my stash so let's go ahead and put this stuff away
So this is it, you guys. These are all of the items I'm going to be using for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try to do maybe two weeks instead of a month because <laughs> a month is kind of long, even though it does allow me to get a good feel of the products. It's still a long time. So I'm going to try and do every two weeks. I think a week for me is too short right now. But yeah, I do want to kind of get back in the swing of doing more makeup tutorials and stuff on YouTube, even though they don't really get um, a good amount of views. I know some of you guys do like the makeup tutorials, so I want to kind of get back into the swing of those along with some more swatch parties because I do have a lot of singles and loose pigments and stuff that I want to swatch out and just have fun creating looks. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. If you're still here for watching my videos, for just all the love and support that you guys show me, it does not go unnoticed. I really, really appreciate it. And I love you guys for it. <laughs> so, you know, to be here and support my love for makeup and addiction <laughs> to makeup. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles! Talk to me.